fucking low. Cinema Squab here, ready to review some crap nobody cares about. And I've got a beaut for you today. Apparently, the company Scurry Forest, that normally makes PG-rated stuff that's okay for the family, ended up making X-rated exploitation zombie flicks. It's a zombie exploitation film called Zombie Ducks. Yeah. This is apparently the touchstone of the Disney here, except they knew how to do it right. And the story begins at Victor Halpin High. Yeah. Like many people are going to get that that's the director of White Zombie. Any other bad references you got in here? Lucio Fulci. Yeah, well, rip off the rip off guy. That's, that's real good. And I'm not going to dignify that one with an answer. Ah, uh, the hard to figure out one. Rupert Everett from Cemetery Man. That's, that's good, yeah. Great, you've just inspired Joe Dante to do an animated exploitation version of The Howling. So as class begins with that cowbell or whatever that sound was, we see an explosion inside a high school. Nice. An explosion. That's what caused the zombies to come to life. You couldn't have thought something a little bit more, oh, I don't know, good? <laughs> hey, Johnny, what happened, man? I heard you bit the dust. <laughs> uh, what the hell, man? Ah, and clearly this infects everybody else at the morgue for the fact that they're in the same room together. Ugh. It's like you hired John K to draw and animate a Hammer's Dracula film. Anyway, our cast here holds up inside a church that seems to be run by some sort of psychotic priest with a really bad Irish voice. Rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. Killing zombies makes one tired. If we're done with that insanity, I should point out there's an emergency shelter block away. It's got phones. So I guess that phone she passed before in the hallway there just wasn't good enough. Huh. This is about as inconsistent as the back page of a highlights magazine. So apparently what we have here is the Disney company hiring Don Bluth to write a story based on characters that were written by Ralph Bakshi. Why that would ever happen, I don't know. But then again, why would anybody make a zombie movie with cartoon ducks? And if I may just touch upon one more thing, what is up with this character? Die, you zombie scum! Well, apparently, since we got screwed out of a decent Buffy the Vampire Slayer cartoon six years ago after Angel ended, we instead get this weird pink duck who apparently wanders around a neighborhood carrying machetes and machine guns. This is probably the worst possible acting I've ever seen in a cartoon before. Uh... Mock my work, will you? Uh -oh. See how you like it. Take that and that. Take it so much now, do you? Ha! Ugh. 